I'm in Vientiane at the moment on a, uh, a visa run um, because my 60-day visa, tourist visa that I uh, that I got in England uh, and then extended for 30 days in Chiang Mai has has expired. So I have to leave the country, and uh, the plan was to get another another two-month tourist visa um, here. And then, and then do the same thing, extend, extend for another 30 days, and uh, that would give me another three months. After that, I wanted to get a, a education visa, but I have messed it up a little bit, well a lot actually. Um, so instead of this being a how to go to Vientiane and get a tourist visa, it's how not to go to Vientiane and, uh, and get a tourist visa, because uh, I don't have one. And I'm going tomorrow. So I didn't realize that if you want to go and apply for a visa, you need to go early in the morning before, before 12 o'clock and, and then pick it up the next day. So uh, after a, a fairly leisurely breakfast and some coffee, I, uh, I, I rolled up to the Thai consulate at about 2 p.m. only to realize that uh, actually I, I, I've missed the boat. Um, so. Uh, I could have done the same thing the next day, but then it meant I wouldn't have been able to pick it up without missing my flight. So, yeah. Instead, uh, I'm just going to fly back to to Chiang Mai on a on a on a 30 day 30 day tourist uh, exemption. Um, yeah, which means that you know it's it's not a huge a huge problem, but it it just means that I. I'll have to apply for my for my education visa a little earlier, um, which is fine. It's no problem. Anyway, Vientiane, uh, it's nice. It's very very similar to Thailand. There's there's you know a very similar language, particularly similar to to Northern Thai. The food's almost the same, um, except there's more of a bread culture here, which which I like a lot. Um, there's not as much bread in in Chiang Mai. Uh, and the croissants here uh, are excellent. The coffee is amazing, and um, I think that's a throwback to to well, it is a throwback to to French colonialism. Um, but yeah, now bearing in mind that this is a capital city, it's a small one. There's only half a million people here, which compared to Chiang Mai is is significantly smaller, um, and there's just not a lot of stuff here. There's only a, a few places to. To sort of go out and drink. Um, things seem to close very early. Uh, everyone seems to work for the government, and there's there's Soviet flags all over the place. Um, so I think in the next ten or twenty years, uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here. But at the moment, uh, there's just not much here. Um, and I, I I did have an open mind when I came here. Uh, I was thinking. Would this be a, a kind of place that I that I could live? Uh, and the answer is no. Uh, the internet's not great. There's um, there's not enough places to hang out. There's not enough places to work. And um, doing some research on on how easy it would be to to set up a business here. Um, well, the research shows me that it would be extremely difficult to to start a business here um, and, and try and make money in in Laos. So yeah, it's a nice place, and uh, I'm glad that I've got to see another country in Southeast Asia. But no, time to go home without my visa. Oh well. <laughs>